Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel Code with Arohi. So in my today's class, I'll show you how to implement DC GAN networks. So DC simply means deep convolutional GAN networks. Okay. So for this particular um, DC GAN network, what I'm using is I'm using this data set, Celeb Faces Attribute data set and this data set is available on Kaggle. So you can get it from there and in description section, I will well, I have mentioned the link of my github repository and from there you can also take this link okay so which data set we are using this particular data set celeb faces data set okay now now what we want is we want to implement a DC GAN network so in every kind of GAN network there are two basic component one is generator this generator and the other one is discriminator okay so see there are different kind of GAN networks right style GAN cycle GAN and DC GAN uh, lots of GAN networks are there but in every GAN network you will get generator and discriminator these are the two basic components of a, any GAN network okay so generator and discriminator generator is responsible to generate fake samples so this is the fake sample generated by after you know 50 or 60 epochs this is the fake sample which um, our generator generates produced this sample and this is one of the sample from our real data set right which data set this data set celeb faces data set this is one of the image which is present in this particular data set and this image this image is produced by generator and both real data sample and the fake data sample which is generated by a generator both samples will go to discriminator and discriminator is basically a classifier binary classifier which will tell whether the sample is a fake sample or a real sample this is how it works but initially when we start the training initially generator will you know uh, take some random sample so initially what will happen when we give random sample so uh, obviously a generator will produce some random output only and this discriminator can easily find out that this is a fake sample because that will be a random noise only okay but over time uh, our generator will start giving us more realistic results right how generator will give us more realistic results after some time after uh, after few epochs right let's say after 30 epochs or 40 epochs or after 50 epochs means after over time uh, generator will start giving us more realistic results and how by getting the feedback from discriminator right after every pass discriminator will give feedback to generator and on the basis of that generator will improve okay in the same way over time generator will also improve and over time discriminator will also improve and discriminator will uh, you know um, uh, also improve in the results by comparing the generated data and the real data okay so this is what I, i've just given you the overview now let's start with the code so first of all i'll um, you know what are different files we are using in this data set and let me tell you about the data set first we'll see the data properly first of all because if you understand your data then only you can work on it properly so we will understand our data first of all so let's begin so first of all i'm importing all the required modules all right and then these are the files this csv file okay let me show you the folder yeah data set folder so these one folder with this name and these csv files you will get once you download the data from the kegel okay so let me open this folder and show you these are the different faces right okay so what this what we are going to do today is our task is to generate fake faces okay so uh, we will train our algorithm on these faces and after training our algorithm on these faces what we want is we want to generate the fake faces okay this is our task so i have shown you the images of our data set and these are the different csv files now let me show you what is there in um, every different uh, csv file okay so we are basically using pandas we are reading every csv file right so 
ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओवर हेयर आप जस्ट रिटर्न दिस स्मॉल ब्लॉक ऑफ कोड जस्ट टू यू नो शो यू फ्यू सैम्पल्स ओवर हेयर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शो सम सैम्पल ऑन योर जुपिटर नोटबुक सो देन यू कैन यूज दिस सो वॉट आई जस्ट डिट इज एम यूजिंग अ फॉर लूप राइट एंड दिस इज द फोल्डर वेयर आर इमेजेस आर एंड वी आर जस्ट प्लॉटिंग दोज इमेजेस ओके सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सी एस वी फाइल्स सो वन ऑफ द सी एस वी फाइल इज List underscore landmarks underscore align underscore celeber dot csv. So I'm uh, reading the csv file and I'm just printing few records of that csv file. Now you can see we have a image ID and for every image ID we have the landmarks like right uh, for example left eye. X coordinate, left eye y coordinate, right eye x coordinate, right eye y co coordinate. In the same way for other things also. So this file is having all the coordinate landmarks of every image which we have in our data set. Okay. Now what we will be doing is let's plot these landmarks on person's face. Right over here I have shown you a image. But let's say if you want to plot that landmark. so let's do that so what i'm doing is i'm reading this is a random image i'm picking one random image and after that what i'm doing is see this is the original image i have converted that image into a rgb image and these are the landmarks i have plotted okay now how i did that for that i have written this code so you can see over here first of all landmarks what this landmarks is this landmarks is a variable which we have defined above this landmarks in which we have read this landmark file okay so what we are doing is from landmarks we are picking the first four records what is there in first four records these things this left eye the, these four things so we what we want is we want to plot the first of all uh, i'm separating the data which is related to eyes in a separate variable and in the same way i'll uh, i'm storing the data of nose mouth in a separate variable and then i'll plot okay so this is what i'm doing over here so you can see first of all i'm picking the data and then these are the variables and from this landmark variable where we have our file from that file we are reading it so now you can see left eye right eye nose left mouth right mouth so what i'm just doing is i'm just picking i'm just picking the column name and putting in these variables after that using csv i have converted our images into a rgb image okay if you want to convert it then you can use like this and after that i'm just using this um, matplotlib to plot the image so i hope you are clear about the landmark file now landmark file simply means uh, for every person will have all the coordinates of the face okay after that we have another file with the name of list underscore bbox underscore celeba this is basically uh, will be a bounding box okay on a face so we are reading that file and you can see for every image we have x coordinate y coordinate width and height of bond, bond, bounding box now let's plot this bounding box on our face so for that also what we are doing is you can see i'm working on same image only this is the original image and these are the landmark which i have implemented in the above cell now we are putting the bounding box also so over here this bounding box is not proper you can try on other image you will get a bounding box my main intent over here is to tell you to show you what kind of coordinates we are having in a different different files okay so now we are clear about two csv files one is bbox bbox simply means we are having a bounding box coordinates for every image in that and another file is landmark file dot csv file which is having the face landmark uh, coordinates in it okay so done with this now this file next file is list underscore eval underscore partition dot csv this file if when you'll read this file see i'm reading this file and first of all i'm just plotting the five records so you can see we have a image id and then we have another column which is just telling us zero right now but let's 
uh, you know work more on this file and let's see what kind of different records we have in it what kind of different partitions we have in it so what i'm doing is i'm performing value count on it in the on this partition column i'm performing value count and what we get is this we have 0 2 and 1 means we have three kind of different partition in it and these are the records which belongs to zero partition and these are the records belongs to two partition and these are the record belongs to one partition now what this partition is so this partition simply means over here you can see train images equals to i'm storing all the data from this partition dot csv file where the partition is equal to 0 in a train images simply means partition 0 uh, are the images which we will be using to train our algorithm partition 1 partition 1 are all those images which we will be using for validation our data validating our data and partition equals to 2 that simply means these are the images which we will be using to test our algorithm okay so that simply means this partition dot csv file is only telling us which um, partition 0 means these are the different images which we are going to use for training and the same way different partition level uh, different partition numbers for train test and validation okay clear right now after that we have one more uh, csv file list underscore attr underscore celeba dot csv so what we have in this file we in this file we are having different attributes okay for example image number this is 5 o'clock shadow arc eyebrows attractive bag and eyes means these are different attributes there are different attributes if we we'll just uh, scroll and you can see like these are the different uh, attributes we have so this file is basically having the um, uh, record of all the attributes for every each and every image okay so now you are clear right so we are having different csv files and we are having images on those images we want to train our algorithm to generate fake data right so now let's begin with the task okay so I'll show you the task of discriminator first of all, and guys, I'll show you each and every line of code, how to write and what, why we are writing each and every line. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, we are starting with the discriminator. So this is the basic discriminator. This is the basic example we'll follow first of all. So this is the discriminator. Discriminator will get real data from the training data, right? So a sample from our training data. and fake data instances from where this uh, we will get this fake data instances from generator generator will generate fake samples and these are the real samples from our real data and see the size of these two images should be similar okay so our uh, in our data set we are using this size 64 into 64 into 3 so that's why through generator you have to you know perform up sampling and your fake image the image which will generate from this generator that the size of that image should be the similar to this size okay so this is the size now these two values these two images will go to the discriminator now discriminator is a neural network and this the task of this neural network is to finally classify whether the image is a real image or a fake image if the image is a real image it will this is basically a binary classifier it will give us output as one if the image is a real image and if image is a fake image then it will return zero okay so then after that we have a loss function so when we calculate loss after that we want to update the weights Oh, all right then only see we will run uh, this um, training for several epochs in order to improve the results so after every epoch if you want to improve the results then you want to uh, then you have to update the weights right and for weight updation what we are using is optimizer the optimizer which we are going to use is atom optimizer and we will be using back propagation okay algorithm to uh, update the weights okay so now 
let's discuss this in more detail right so over here i've just told you like these two values will go to discriminator and discriminator will give us output now what is there in this discriminator i'm i'm telling you like this is a neural network and if it is a neural network what kind of layers we are going to have in it and how those layers will work now let's discuss that so now let's see this image first of all and then i'll show you the uh, the things which i have written in this image the same things i have written in a code so let's understand this image and then let's implement a code so again this whole green block is a discriminator and these are the layers which are inside discriminator real data and fake data will go to a uh, discriminator and the very first layer is convolutional layer and uh, okay so now what will happen is see the image size of real sample is of 64 into 64 into 3 okay height and width is 64 and the number of channels are 3 because this this is a colored image in the same way the fake sample which we have created should be have same dimension so that's why we have this now we need to down sample this image right so over here when you apply the first convolutional layer after that convolutional layer your this 64 into 64 will get reduced to 32 into 32 okay and 64 number of filters we are using and after that we are, and over here we are having convolutional layer and we are using batch normalization and relu those things are here okay so after that this 32 into 32 into 64 will go to the next convolutional layer and over here also we are applying down sampling right and after this you will get the image would be of this size now this will go to the next layer convolutional layer and this convolutional layer will down sample the image to this 8 into 8 into 128 we have three convolutional layers in it after that what we are doing is we are flattening our image why we need to flatten our image because uh, now we want to classify whether the image is a fake image or a real image and classifier always accept data in one dimensional format so that's why we are flattening our image flattening simply means multiply this 8 into 8 into 128 is 8192 so we have flattened the image after that we have a dense layer over here we are performing a classification right um, between this real data or fake data and the activation function which we are using over here is sigmoid okay and finally one simply means real data and zero means fake data clear now let's implement this whole thing through coding okay so this is the function first of all these are the important modules i have imported now in this discriminator variable first of all i'm importing the um, uh, using keras dot sequential and input to this discriminator will be 64 into 64 into 3 remember i have explained you just above over here real sample size is this so input to discriminator will be 64 into 64 into 3 and if you are working on some other data set you have to change it according to that okay so now see this is the first convolutional layer right and this is the leaky relu um, function uh, activation function we are using for it right and then this is the second convolutional layer and this is the activation function for that convolutional layer and then this is the third convolutional layer and the leaky relu function for that so guys you can see over here 1 2 3 three convolutional layers i have explained you in this image and in the same way we have written those three convolutional layers after that we are flattening the image as i've shown you in the image and we are finally using a dense layer and over here we are using a activation function sigmoid okay and the name of this model we have set is discriminator now let's if you want to see the summary of it so just do control enter you can see you can see finally our image is getting down sampled right and we are flattening our image over here and this is a final dense layer which will work right so guys clear discriminator code very simple now let's talk about generator now 
generator the task of generator is to create fake sample right so for our today's class generator will create fake images fake faces and those fake faces will go to discriminator and discriminator will tell whether this face is a fake face or a real face and the motive of generator is to work hard to create more realistic faces so that this so that our generator um actually generator wants to fool the discriminator uh, means if generator is giving a fake data and what generator wants is generator wants to uh, produce uh, more realistic results more realistic fake images so that discriminator would not be able to distinguish whether this is a real face or a fake face created by generator okay so let's uh, uh, understand this generator uh, first of all understand from this image and then we'll go to the code so initially uh, generator will always start with a random noise so this is a random noise and this is basically a vector size of 100 into 1 this is a one dimensional vector right so this vector this is the uh, shape of this uh, 100 into 1 okay this when we will be working on it this random noise we will reshape it first of all so we are reshaping it and from 100 into 1 to what we have uh, we have reshaped this random noise into this shape 8 into 8 into 128 okay so the very first step, step is reshape this random noise so we have reshaped it after reshaping we are using conf2d transpose now why we are using this conf2d transpose um, layers because what we want is we want to up sample our um, image after every layer and see guys um, if 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 you have a question like why we are initially starting with a very small size of the image that is because we always start in gans we start with a low quality image low resolution image right and then slowly slowly we will um, improve it so that's what we are doing is we are initially starting with uh, and we are reshaping our noise to 8 into 8 into 128 and con 2d transpose will do up sampling up sampling means uh, it will give you a higher version of that um, higher uh, resolution um have higher resolution it will perform uh, you know up sampling so after going through this con 2d transpose layer this size will become this 16 into 16 into 128 after that this will go to the next con 2d transpose layer and this layer will also perform up sampling and it will become 32 into 32 into 256 and now this value will go to the next con 2d transpose layer this will again do some up sampling and we will get this value and finally we have a convolutional layer and we will get this image size right so basically output of what would be the output of generator fake sample and that sample should be of the same size of 64 into 64 into 3 remember it this image size should be similar to the image sizes of our real images okay so our task is to up sample it to this but we start with a low resolution image right so this is how it works now let me show you through the coding so this is the function we have written so first of all what we are doing is input what would be the input to this generator this random noise this is the variable and in this we have written 100 so this is the shape of that um, this is the very first step and this variable in this variable we have written 100 that means um, one dimensional array 100 uh, vector of uh, this, this 100 so over here we have mentioned this and then we want to reshape it it into 8 into 8 into 128 which i have shown you over here so we are reshaping this 100 into 1 into 8 into 8 into 128 okay so that's what we have done over here after that 
we are using con trans to transpose for upsampling right so this is the upsampling and after that we are using a re, uh, leaky relu activation function so this is the first convolutional layer and activation layer for upsampling this is the second convolutional layer and the related leaky relu layer for upsampling and this is the third convolutional 2d uh, transpose layer for upsampling and finally we have a con 2d layer which will give us the size which we need 64 into 64 into 3 means after over here after this over here what you will get is you will get a fake sample generated by a generator right you can see over here so initially that is a one dimensional we have uh, image in a 1d vector then what we are doing is we are reshaping it like this so that we can we want to run convolutional network on it so we need we need image should be in this shape right then only we can run so that's why we are doing that and now you can see after every layer now this is the first con 2d transpose layer so our image height and width become 16 into 16 earlier it was 8 but now it is 16 and in next convolutional um, 2d transpose layer the size of image become 32 into 32 and after that 64 into 62 4 and this is the final size of the image which we need so we have written function for generator right this is generator and discriminator okay so now the next task is what we are using is we are just lo uh, um, we are just loading the data and over here we have this class gan class so now what we want is we want to override this train step so where is this train step over here right so let's see what we are doing so this discriminator this generator and this latent dim generator is this generator in which we have written the whole model code in the same way discriminator variable is this variable right in which we have written our whole code of discriminator and latent dim is this right so these are the values which we are providing over here okay and in the same way optimizer d underscore optimizer means uh, the optimizer which we are going to use for um, updating the weights of discriminator g underscore optimizer simply means the uh, this uh, optimizer for um, generator right and d optimizer and g optimizer both these optimizer will be the adam optimizers we will use okay now let's scroll down and see this train step so in this train steps what we are doing is see uh, over here you can see this is for batch size and this will pick the um, you know random noise and generated images simply means the data the image the fake image which generator will generate okay and how generator will generate we will give this random noise this random noise to generator right so in generator variable we have our whole code right um, which will which will uh, you know create some uh, fake sample so what we are doing is this variable is uh, is used for creating a random noise and that random noise we are providing to generator and we are storing it in generated images and this combined images what we are doing over here is we are concatenating the generated uh, fake image and the real image generated image which we have just uh, generated over here and the real images from our data set and combined underscore images is a variable in this variable now we have our fake image from generator and the real sample from our data set data set okay so after that 
you can see over here optimizers we are applying optimizer so what will go to discriminator when discrimin discriminant needs to uh, inputs right the input from generator and the image from uh, the fake image from generator and the real image so where we have stored it in in combined images variable so that's why we are giving this to discriminator and after that over here we are applying uh, once you give uh, images to discriminator then we'll calculate the loss and then we'll update the weights so this is what we are doing over here okay and you can see over here okay so that's it guys this is what we are doing over here is in this uh, simple thing uh, for um, discriminator we are giving two different images and discriminator is calculating loss on that and then we are using gradient uh, optimizer to update the weights and in the same way for uh, generator right now after that over here over here so this code is simply for you know saving the generated images so uh, let me show you the directory where i have uh, stored the results so i have already executed this code so i have all the images over here so these are the images generated images which you will get and this is the code which is responsible to display those images right now over here we are training a model okay so number of epochs i'm using is 35 this what this gan is this gan is a class the class which we have defined here gan class okay and to this gan class these are the parameters we are providing discriminator is a variable in which we have implemented the discriminator generator is same way and latent dim is 100 and the optimizers which we are using is atom optimizer this is the learning rate we are using for it the underscore optimizer simply means the optimizer we are defining this optimizer for discriminator g underscore optimizer simply means the optimizer which we are defining for um generator and after that this is the loss function how we are calculating the loss we are calculating the loss by using binary cross entropy 0 and 1 right if this is a real image then 1 if it is a fake image then 0 okay gan dot fit and now we are fitting the data set this data set variable is having our images in it and epochs are 35 and in this callback what we are calling is we are calling this class and this class we have defined over here this class will store the fake images which will get generated while running it okay so finally this is the block of code which will show you some generated images so over here these images are very small so let me show you from the folder see this is the very first epoch if you'll see these images from the very first epoch you're not understanding it right now right but let's see the output as i've told you right i run this code for 35 epochs let me show you the images from the very last epoch and you can see so this is the fake image right generated by our generator after 35 epochs in the same way let's see uh, some other images let's see you want to see this image so these all images are fake images generated by our generator so right now results are not that much good right so what you need to do is you need to run your code for uh, more epochs to get good results right so but the samples which you will get after running this code so these are the fake samples fake faces which we have generated using generator right so this is how it works all right guys so that's it guys now i have given the link in description section right my github repository link so you can try this code right and hope you guys like my video and guys if you like my video then please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching Thank you.